It's Derby Day, and if you're anything like my friends, you fall into one of two groups. You either think the Kentucky Derby is the brutal exploitation of horses, or you didn't even know it was Derby Day until just now when I told you. But no matter which camp you fall into, you're happy to drink something delicious and alcoholic in solidarity. Don't worry, I got you. Now a quick search will net you dozens of videos on how to make a mint julep, but there's really only one you need to watch, and that's this one. And honestly, I could never top it. No one can. Thankfully, my go-to julep is a Jerry Thomas classic called The Prescription Julep, a tasty variation utilizing cognac and rye. There are other videos on this, which isn't a big deal, but I can't make that one either because another YouTuber uploaded a video on that drink earlier this week. <sighs> Motherfucker. But thankfully, a gift fell out of the sky and into my lap in the form of this lovely gift that was put together by the good people of Wild Turkey and Liquid Alchemist. Let's see what's inside. Smallish bottle of Wild Turkey 101, peach syrup, fancy julep tin, and even a metal straw. Shiny. This is a peach julep in a box, and if you've never had a julep that's been spiced up with the addition of fruit, you don't know what you're missing. Let's make it. Add a decent amount of fresh mint, half an ounce of peach syrup, and two ounces of strong bourbon into your julep tin. Lovingly press the mint to release the oil and top with crushed ice. Give it a stir, add more crushed ice, and garnish with a few mint sprigs. Beautiful. Let's give this a taste. Woo! That is a tasty drink. Now the peach notes are front and center, but the bourbon is still the star of the show. And if you want to enjoy this drink in this manner, you really should use a strong bourbon, and Wild Turkey 101 is perfect. Now if you're thinking, do I have to use peach? Obviously not. A lot of flavors would work great in this drink. Like apricot, for example, or really any stone fruit. Don't be afraid to use your imagination and get creative. The real trick is incorporating the flavor into the drink. There are plenty of ways to accomplish this. You could muddle, you could try your hand at making your own fruit puree in a blender. And if you want to go that route, feel free. But frankly, I'm kind of lazy, which is why I think liquid alchemist syrups are worth seeking out. But no matter what you do, make this drink or something like it. Not because it's Derby Day, because you earned it. If you liked it at like, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Take care and I'll see you soon. Whew.